Previously on Kingdom Come Deliverance. There is something you can do for me. You see? I'm in love. So I reckon the best thing is for you to introduce yourself as Alphonse, have a snoop around, and come back to me when you find out anything. Would I be right in assuming this is the encampment of Sir Earhart, uh, Baron Bilovets? Ah, would you rather put off our talks until later? If you wouldn't mind, I would rather postpone our talks until later. Well now, Sir like Alphonse, this. you took them all by storm. What charlatan? He's a man of learning who even cured the Pope of impotence. You're imagining it, sir. You look as irresistible as ever, if not more. Gentle knight, why linger on? I earned this from my love so long. Whip out your worthy silky breasts. Who shall suck my salty bits? Jesu, Jesu, Maria, vola la, vola la. Jesu, Jesu, Maria, Jesu, Yemine. I'll have his balls on a platter! And now, the continuation. Alright, so you can see we're here in Ravna, so we're gonna do all that glisters. We're gonna continue on at the main mission, make a little bit more progress. So, I believe what we're doing here is looking for... Uh, the merchant, or whoever whoever does the trade-off with the coin. So, oh, there's the road over there. So let's pick it up when we kind of find out how that starts. Alright, there's a wagon up here. I think we're getting close to the little icon. Good god, what a bloody mess. Yeah, it does look pretty bloody. Uh, let's go to the crossroads. I'm not seeing anything. Charcoal. It looks like that wagon was loaded with charcoal. It does look that way. Someone was wounded here. It wounded? Looks like another person dragged him off. Looks Maybe like there'll be some trash. Someone's entire blood, like all of the blood in their body. I think we're going to the charcoal burner's place, so let's just go there. Charcoal burners. Someone must have seen or heard go. something. God save you. What can I do for you? What happened at the crossroads? What? Enough bullshit. I know you dragged somebody here, so tell me what happened. I don't know nothing, and I haven't seen nothing. If you want to know something about it, just ask Boya. I don't want nothing to do with it. Who is this Boya? Boyar cracks the whip around here. You'll recognize him by his red cap. Thank you. Look at that, he does. I am honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. What do you know about the wagon that's been ambushed at the crossroads? I haven't a clue what you're talking about. Really? Yes. Is that a problem? You're what passes for bristle and gristle around here, are you? Possibly. So listen to me, you hero. If you don't want me to wipe that crooked grin off your face, you'll start talking. Got it? Yeah, right. Because everyone knows charcoal burners are thieves and killers. Well, let me tell you, that's not at all what happens. I'll be glad to hear you out. Let's just get this straight. We didn't ambush anyone. And what were you doing at the crossroads then? We were just passing, and we saw the wagon. So we took the sacks. Just the sacks? What about the trail of bloodstains leading to the camp? I was just getting to that. We also found one wounded man. What am I saying, wounded? Um, the fellow was hat like a martyr in some holy picture. He begged us to hide him away. So you have him here somewhere? Is he still alive? The fellow has quite a will to live. I'll give him that. Do you know who ambushed that wagon? Not a clue. We came a long way after. Did he tell you anything? He wasn't exactly talkative. His lungs are full of holes, so talking's a problem. Where is he? We've locked him away, in the shed. There. I want to talk to him. I, I don't know. He, he paid us. We're not to let anyone near him. We've been through that already. All right, all right. Just calm down. Here, take the key. Thanks. Farewell. All right. I'm guessing... Ooh, look. Sex. Traces of blood. Hmm. And these are the same sacks that were by that wagon. Traces of blood. Traces of blood. Traces of blood. Traces of blood. And these blood. are the same sacks that were by that wagon. I'm missing a lot of blood. I'm guessing this is the shack that the guy's in. Hmm, look at that. Who are you? Do as I say, and you might walk out of here alive. What? What's that? What do you mean? Don't worry about it. Just answer my questions, and I might even help you. Well, 
if you say so. Who is it you work for? Who did the wagon belong to? To Menhart. He's some kind of merchant who hired me for protection. But that's all I know. Hmm. And where's this Menhart disappeared off to? No idea. I blacked out after the attack. Only came to my senses once I got here. I don't even know where here is. Who ambushed that wagon? A knight. He's been following us for a while. And where did he go? I don't know. I got a beating, and then I passed out. Do you know what you were carrying in that wagon? <coughs> I never asked Menhart that. <coughs> Can I see your wound? Are you a quack? Sort of. Mm. That's a deep wound to the flank, and you're still losing blood. You need to staunch it. Will you help me? I can try. Tell me more about the night. Where's the coin? What? What coin? I will not repeat the question. I, I don't know about any coin. I swear ah! to... Where are oh. those sacks you took from the wagon? Sacks? They're behind the shed. That's him! That's got to be that knight! Is that all? Did you take anything else? Uh-uh. Oh. Fuck! Stop! Stop right there! Alright, let's catch him. And we caught up to him. Oop! 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 Oh, ooh, he's good. Ah, rude. Boom. Oh. Oh. Ouch. Come on, buddy. Don't be a dick. Hunsfart. Oh, Hunsfart. Oh, Hunsfart. Maybe I should pop him in the face with my bow. Oh. There we go. Accept his surrender. <laughs> Who is that, Tuffy? It seems I have finally met my match. Your match? I think you meant to say you're superior. Do not be so proud. My day has been... hard. That doesn't change anything. Now I'll be asking you a couple of questions, and you're going to give me answers to them nicely. Starting with who you are. You may call me Ulri. I will tell you nothing more until you give me some assurances. Assurances? How about this? If you talk, I'll spare you. Do you expect me to believe that? I know full well how these stories end. I... I have been at the other end of the sword more times than you can count. I'll give you my word. <laughs> the word of a thief? Jesus. It is true what the preachers say. This world has gone quite mad. You had better kill me. I'm finished, anyway. Just as you are. Unlike you, I'm not a criminal. You believe that the forging of money is an honest trade? I've got nothing to do with that. I'm not a forger, I'm the one investigating them. What? What are you saying? I'm in the service of Sir Radzig Kobola, Governor of Scalitz and Royal Hetman. Then we have something in common. I also am here under orders from above. From who? Perhaps you might sheet that weapon, so that we may talk eye to eye, if we do indeed have a common cause. Stand up. It is true our meeting has not begun well, 
But if it is the truth that you are sent by Kobila, then we can assist each other. What do you mean? I found out many things, but there are still questions I cannot answer. And the last man who knew anything is now dead. What man was that? Mainhat, the merchant from Passau. Listen, I will explain everything to you. But first, I need you to do something for me. Oh, really? You will introduce me to a certain person, and I will tell you everything I've learned. I don't think I could honestly recommend you as a suitor to any of the ladies I know. <laughs> your wit is as piercing as your blade. Fine, who is it? Master Tobias Feifer. If you truly serve Sir Radzik, then you must know him. I think I know who you mean. What do you want him for? I have here a written confession which tells how those forgeries are made. But I do not understand such technical matters. Master Pfeiffer, however... We'll definitely be able to make sense of it. And you'll give it to me, just like that. It seems I have little choice. This is the last lead I have. In the meantime, I will return to Sasso and see what I might learn there. Shouldn't you go with me to see Feyfar? No. I must remain in Sasso. I have some uh, loose ends that must be tied. What's your name, anyway? I told you, I am Ulrich. Just Ulrich? It is enough. Because you look like a knight. They seldom have just one name. It is true, I have a horse armor, a sword, and a shield. But there are many ways to acquire such things these days, as I am sure you know. So you're not a knight? I am a trustworthy soldier in the service of a nobleman. That is all you need to know. I'd like to know more, but I have a feeling you won't tell me. Your feeling is correct. Who are you working for? I understand why you wish to know, but this does not mean I am at liberty to tell you. Very well. I shan't beat it out of you. Tell me what you know about the false coins. Do you know, Passau? No. What is it? A city in Bavaria. Passau is a city of trade. All the currencies in Christendom change hands there. I see. And that would include Prague Groschen? Some months ago, counterfeit Groschen were discovered to be circulating there. They are made from copper plated with silver. The puzzle of the man began to investigate and learned that a family of money changers was involved. They were bringing the forged coins in from Bohemia and sending back real ones. My liege lord is allied to the puzzle of the man, so they requested that he deal with the matter. And so he sent you? Yes. He needed a man that he could trust absolutely. And what about that wagon? What happened there exactly? I followed Menhard from Paso. I had reason to suspect a connection with Sasso. So they were transporting false Groschen on that wagon? Yes. On their way here, they brought real coin. Groschen, forints, francs and the like. But now, the eggs were full of counterfeits. What do you mean about the connection with Sasso? The matter was investigated in Passau, and the executioner extracted information from those who were arrested. They told him that the coins were made in a monastery. What, in the monastery itself? I cannot say. I know only what the Passo scribe wrote down in his reports of the interrogations. Why did you let them get here before attacking? I wanted to discover where they hand over their coins, which I failed to do. Besides, Mainhard had an armed escort, and they kept two busy roads and lodged at inns throughout their journey. Until he came to this godforsaken trek, I cannot guess why he came here. But it was the perfect opportunity to strike. What happened on that track? I ambushed them. I took down two, but that bastard man had cut the horses loose and rode away. What next? While I was chasing Manhart, those charcoal burners came and stole what they could. Before I could catch him, his horse threw him and he broke his neck. So we won't get anything out of him? Unfortunately not. Very well. I'll go and see Master Feyfar. Godspeed. I will wait in Sasso at the Wagoners Inn. All right. Uh, seems like we got to go talk to um, Tobias Feyfar. So let's pick it up in Rete. Master Feyfar, I need to speak with you. I found out something about the counterfeit coin. Did you really? Do tell. Close to Rovna, I came across a wagon that was transporting the false coins. 
Unfortunately, I came too late. The carter and his men were dead. Damn and blast. Do you know who did it? Yes. A certain knight turned up there. Turned out he was also after the forgers. Well, that is indeed unexpected. Tell me, what did he say? His name is Ulrich. He looked like a knight, but he refused to show his master's colours. Ulrich, you say? Hmm. Could be anyone. Can you describe him? An older man with a moustache. But for all his grey hairs, he seemed pretty tough to me. Hmm. Doesn't match anyone I've heard of. But then we don't even know if Ulrich is his real name. I asked him who his liege was, but he refused to tell me. We live in such strange times. In days past, knights would vie with each other to see who could extol their liege's name the loudest. And today, they take assumed names, hide their emblems and sneak around the land like thieves. I got the impression he was hiding his identity because his masters are odds with Sir Radzik. That may well be. As a staunch supporter of the king, Sir Radzik has many enemies. He told me that the fake money was being taken to Passau in exchange for gold coins. Then that real money was being brought back to the Bohemian lands. That would explain why those fakes bear the Passau counter mark. His master is allied with the Passau alderman, and they told him to sort it all out. I wonder who could be behind it all. He gave me these documents to show you. He seemed to think they prove he was telling the truth. They're the records of the interrogations in Passau, and some other things he said you'd understand better than him. Hmm. Let me see. We, the aldermen of the city of Passau, uh -huh. interrogation held this day, uh -huh. put to pain by the quester. The place of origin is a monastery in the land of Bohemia. Hmm. Which certainly confirms my suspicion that something underhand is going on in Sasso. Coin assay report. Copper core coated with amalgam. Ah, but this is interesting. Here's an outlying description of how the forgeries are made. I'll have to study it more closely. We command Herr Ulrich to investigate and let no man stand in his way. This looks like the original safe conduct. It has the seal of the Passau alderman. But they certainly didn't pen this. How do you know? I recognise the hand. It's a Clement of Caplitz, the high scribe of the Rosenbergs. The Rosenbergs? Who's that? A rich and powerful family in South Bohemia. Burgrave Henry III is a great rival of our King Wenceslas. So what does all this mean? Well, it certainly explains why your knight is so mysterious. Anyway, we should be careful. And we shall begin our investigation. The documents show they use silver amalgam for coating copper fakes. That's a lead we can follow. Amal what? Silver amalgam. It's produced from quicksilver in silver. Well, that doesn't sound like something just anyone can get hold of. Hmm. You're quite right. You will go to Sasso at once. Look around the forges in the city. Someone must be working copper for them. I, meanwhile, will take counsel with Sir Radzik and then follow after you. Where shall we meet? At the inn on Sasso Market Square. All right, that was a whole lot of stuff. So we got to go back to Sasso and start investigating uh, the counterfeits. So let's, uh, uh, I don't know if we can do that first or we have to speak Dalric first, but let's let's go to Sasso. Uh, Master Ada, that's his name. You might know something. Uh, hate that. Stands out here, but then you come in here to talk to him, and then he runs away. Fight you. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? Do you make anything out of copper, master? I do a bit of damascene decor sometimes. Why do you ask? I'm looking for someone who could do me some copper sheets. Well, that's pretty rough and ready work. I wouldn't waste my time with it. But go and ask Zach from the craftsman's yard by the monastery. He's brought up all the copper to be had around here anyway. What can you tell me about the blacksmiths here in Sasso? Depends which ones you mean. In the town there's Mikesh. He's a decent man and an honest craftsman. And in the yard by the monastery there's Zach. But there's not many good words I can say about him. All right, so let's go talk to Mikesh. Maybe he'll know something. Do you ever work with copper here? No, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Zach from the Monastery Craftsman's Yard has bought out all the copper. Seems, uh, interesting. So we got two of them so far saying that Zach has the copper, so let's go check and see what Zach's story is. Do you work any copper here, Master Blacksmith? Why'd you ask? I'd want to commission you to make something. Then you'd best go elsewhere. I never use copper. That's not what I heard. What? I was told in town that you bought all the other blacksmiths copper. I'm being made a fool of yet again, it seems. 
Anything else? I still have work to do. Go back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. Your father says you don't work any copper. We don't. I've heard differently around town. They say your father's bought up all the copper to be had. Are you calling me a liar? Or my father? You're asking for it, boy. Just be sure you know what you're letting yourself in for. Was that a threat? Do you think I'm an idiot? You don't get it, do you? I don't particularly want to fight with you. I don't have the time or the need to prove anything. So I'll just take my knife and stick it between your ribs. And then I'll keep twisting until you tell me the truth. So show me what you're made of. God how, did, be with how did that fail? I guess we'll just keep doing the head to grind attack. Hmm. Alright, let's see if he wants to talk now. I'm honored that you should come to me. So, what do you have to tell me? You're right. We do make copper sheets here at night. So why all the secrecy about it? Father forbade me to talk about it. I don't know why. I didn't ask. Who buys those sheets from you? I don't know. I've never set eyes on him. Father doesn't like to talk about it. Your father has some serious explaining to do. Jesus, please don't hurt him. We'll see about that. Farewell. My friend, you're a trader. Help me out here. I'm after some quicksilver. Well, I've been there several times myself and come back empty-handed. They fobbed me off three times over. And who exactly are you talking about? Who's holding back the goods on you? The monastery overseer, or his assistant, more like. So what did the overseer have to say to you? Nothing. Apparently he doesn't deal in such trifles. Leaves it all to his assistant, the pompous git. Surely such valuable material can't just vanish. Where can it be? I wish I knew. Every time I ask for the red paint, there's a different reason why they haven't got the quicksilver to mix it. Once they said the goods never arrived, and another time that the wagon carry net was ambushed. Then it went astray somewhere. And you think they're lying? Jesus, what do I know? But it seems pretty strange to me. Three times in a row the same thing goes missing. There's bad luck and then there's something else. What do you need Quicksilver for? I don't. They do. To mix up the red pigment for me. I'm painting the church in Ujits. Can you imagine how stupid those biblical scenes look without red? Not really. Then be glad you can. My eyes are just to imagine it. That's all I need to know for now. Ah. But wouldn't you care to buy something before you go? Or play a game? I really need some money. I've been waiting here a while and my stay's getting expensive. Why not? Show me what you have to offer. Well. Alright, we'll buy a couple things from him. There we go. Now he has some money. Let's go talk to the person at the monastery. Do you have any quicksilver in stock? Who's asking? Nobody. I'm just asking. Then I don't have any. That sounds almost as if you don't want to sell it to me. It's not that I don't want to. It's that I can't. Can't you? In the Sassau Monastery? That seems unlikely. It looks more like you're lining your own pockets to me. I wonder what people would have to say about that. It's not. I'm not. Oh, shit. Get to the point. Uh, they came for me at noon. Directly to the office. The overseer was somewhere on his rounds. Some night, it was. Without a crest. Armed. He called himself Sir Yezhek, and he had a lackey with him called Rapporter. A scruffy fellow with a yellow cape. Always whistling, he was. They told me they wanted all the quicksilver we order for the monastery. Of course, I told him that wouldn't be possible. And then what? Did they threaten you? Uh, not at first. They tried to bribe me, and when I refused, they started threatening. How did you hand it over to them? I take it up the hill behind the monastery here. There's a big tree there with a small chapel underneath. Sometimes Rapporta is there waiting for me. If not, I leave it there. What did they threaten you with? They said they know people in the monastery. That they'd have me thrown out and beaten for stealing. And you had been stealing? I mean, before then? You know how it is. I work my fingers to the bone and they pay me a pittance. So they knew about you? Yes, they knew my name. Everything. Alright, so we could either go look for Rapata or we can try communicating with Zack to see if... Uh... 
we can learn the rest about the copper sheets. Here he is. Are you Rapporteur by any chance? Pardon me? Do we know each other? No, but I'm hoping to change that. Uh, um, well, I, I don't have much time right now. I'd best be off. It'll only take a moment. Um, all right then. What do you want? I know you buy Quicksilver for those counterfeiters. Uh, it seems there's no point making excuses. None. Now tell me where their workshop is. Of course, of course. That... that will be the best solution. So? Uh, let's leave it for another time. So, are you ready to talk? I will. I will. Just don't hurt me, please. What do you want from me? Tell me where the workshop is. Don't worry. Your master won't be punishing you for betraying him. You're both going to have too many other problems. It's in the Scullet's mines. That doesn't narrow it down very much. On the eastern side of Scullet's Hill, there's an abandoned mine gallery. Well, it used to be abandoned. Now there's a small camp in front of it, and the workshop is inside. Who is your lord? Sir Yezhek of Ronoff. That's what he calls himself, although Ronoff Castle's long gone. What happened to it? Ronoff used to belong to Vincent, Count Lichtenberg. After his death, it fell to Margrave Jobst, and he had it pulled down. He knew full well that Vincent's vassals would resist him. Why? Everyone knows that when a lord dies without issue, the king can confer his estate on whoever he pleases. But Vincent had the sentence. Ronoff only fell to the Margrave because he declared them all illegitimate. All because Vincent had refused to fight for him against Sir Prokop. Sir Yezhek led a revolt of the vassals, but Jobst rounded them all up. Only Sir Yezhek got away. Since then, he's become the scourge of the domain. Who are you, anyway? They call me Rapota. I used to be the executioner's henchman in Brno. And how did you come to be serving Sir Yezhek? I helped him escape from prison. If I was going to serve anyone, better Sir Yezhek than the executioner. So you saw being a brigand's henchman as a step up in the world? I thought if things changed and he stopped marauding, he might get Ronoff back and take me into his service. Well, after this little escapade, you can forget about that. You'll be lucky if you don't end up swinging on the gallows. It's all the same anyway now. I've betrayed him. So who's Sir Yeshek working for? Don't tell me he just took it into his head one day to start forging coins. That's not for me to know. Sir Yeshek was on speaking terms with various lordships. Such as? We were often guests at the monastery. But I slept in the hayloft, so I heard nothing. And apart from that? Well, in the camp, you'd occasionally see a Hungarian nobleman. But I don't know what he was doing there, or who he is. I think I've heard enough. Can I ask you something? Yes? I don't want to hang. It's a horrible death. I prefer you just kill me here and now. An honorable death? No chance. It's the dungeons for you and the sort of punishment a counterfeiter deserves. Don't worry. In time, you'll be glad of the gallows. That was harsh. But, now we know the stuff. So, I mean, we can go check and see if Ulrich is still there, but uh, he probably won't be. So, let's go see. Hey, look at that. There he is. I finally found out where the forger's workshop is. Master Feyfar oh, was what? right. The forgers are sticking close to the supply source. Their workshop is somewhere in the mines. The entrance is on the eastern side of the hill. I've no idea what to expect there, but I'd rather go there with some backup. I will be glad to give it. Lead on. Hmm. Over there already. All right, let's go on up, Ulrich. Mm, could be. Which way is he going? Oh, see, I knew it. Let me get past you, Ulrich. I want first blood. a long way. There we go. What have we got here? Entertainment? <laughs> Great. Hello! Come on, work. You better do something. Ah! 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 
Lost your wind, have you? Next. You dear. Why is Ulrich attacking me? Alright, I guess I'm killing Ulrich. I don't know why. Way off. Alright, I guess he's dead. Let's go into the mine. Probably got peeved that I ran in without him. Alrighty. Probably won't be too far. The answer to my <coughs> Alright, well we got two bandits. Nine, three score. Watch out, you got it searing hot. What do you want here? I don't know you. I'm here at the command of the Royal Hetman, Sir Radzig Kabila. Radzig Kabila. The King's Hetman. <laughs> I see. I'm here to place you under arrest. I gathered as much. And you came alone. Ha! <laughs> Very daring of you, I must say. I'll manage. Sometimes even a king can be deposed without an army. So, I'm a king now? And you want to dethrone me? By the way, who betrayed me? That hardly matters, does it? Do you think I won't get a chance to settle up with them? But I hope you don't imagine I'm just going to follow meekly after you like a lamb to the slaughter. I don't know. Why don't you ask the men I hacked my way through to get here? If any of them are still alive. Do you think I'm scared of you? If I give up without a fight, Kobila will hang me. If I fight back, at least I stand a chance. True. But death will come sooner here. Better here by the sword than swinging like a common criminal. If you thought that the last time, you wouldn't have passed up your chance to slip out of the executioner's noose. And you might yet make terms with Sir Radzik somehow. Who knows? Or I'll kill you and have nothing to worry about. Fuck! I thought he was surrendering. Otherwise I'd have kept hammering at him. Oh, that was a good strike. I can see his men didn't think it would be smart to stick around. Too bad they didn't learn from him, huh? Please, please, I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement. You can talk all you like, but not here, and not to me. Let's go. Let's go. Master Fayfar is very keen to meet you. Good work, Henry. Thank you, Master Fayfar. It wasn't easy, I can tell you. I'll take some men and have a good look around there. And what should I do? You should get some rest and go to Rate. In the meantime, Sir Radzig will have this wretch questioned. Maybe he'll get something useful out of him. All right. I'll see you in Rate then. There's the man. Good work, Henry. Thank you, sir. I'd tell you to take a well-earned rest, but unfortunately I need one more thing from you. Whatever you command. Jezek refuses to talk to us. The stubborn bastard's asking to see you. Me? Indeed. Normally I'd send for Captain Burner to beat it out of him, but then I told myself that if he's so keen to speak to you... I'll try to get something out of him. Where is he? He's locked up in the tower. Bernard will give you the key. Very well, sir. I need the key to Yezhek's cell. Hmm. So, Sir Radzik let him have his way in the end. He should have let me beat some answers out of him. If I were you, I wouldn't question Sir Radzik's orders. Give me the key. Just try not to mess it up. Here's that key. Thanks. Alright, let's talk to the wiener. Where is he? 
in the cell. Look at that. Hey, Henry. Well, finally, I've had quite a wait. Why do you want to talk to me, of all people? You brought me here. You should consider it an honor. If hanging around in a damp dungeon with a condemned man is your idea of honor... You're not seeing the bright side. You can be the one who uncovers a conspiracy against the king for your master. You don't get an opportunity like that every day. It did cross my mind, though, that it might be nice to get some assurances for my cooperation. After all, I'm the one the Margrave unjustly declared the scourge of the land and expelled from Moravia. They even pulled my beautiful castle down. It was the necessity of making a living that forced me to take some liberties. Well, I suppose there's some truth in that. I may speak with Sir Radzig and he might pardon you, but not unless you start talking. Very well, ask me anything you want. I won't be obstructive. What I want to know most of all is who's behind it. Who were you making those forgeries for? Do you think I couldn't have handled it all myself? I'm not trying to insult you. It's just not a job one man could do alone. All right. The way it began was I was short of coin, as usual. So I let those crimps in Sassau recruit me. Recruit you into what? I didn't inquire too much. In this business, you don't ask too many questions. But when they found out I wasn't just anybody, they put me in charge of the counterfeiting. A foreigner by the name of Eric gave me instructions. But for sure, he isn't the chief. And there's someone highly placed at the monastery who's mixed up in it, too. But I don't know who. How did you come to hear of all this business? I met some old friends in Colleen a few months ago. And they said they were heading for Sassau. That armed men were being recruited. And they'll hire anyone. Old friends? Who were they? Just a couple of brigands. We used to ambush the Margrave's messengers in Moravia together. Nice friends you keep. I was in dispute with the Margrave. A man in my position finds himself mixed up with all sorts. And then what? Rapota and I had been living off stale crusts for a month, so I wasn't going to turn down the chance of work, honest or otherwise. We rode to Sassau and met with the recruiters. It didn't take long to realize I was a nobleman fallen on hard times, not some common peasant. Can you get to the point? Well, they introduced me to this Eric, and he told me what was needed. They set up the workshop, got the men, the supplies, everything. This Eric? You reckon he's not the one in charge? He puts on airs, but he's just a naive young pup. And he's always going on about his lord, though he never mentioned him by name. Where can I find this Eric? You must have had some meeting place. He used to come to the workshop unannounced. And after what's happened, I doubt he'll be showing his face there again. This highly placed person at the monastery, what can you tell me about him? I've no idea who he is, only that he's no small fry. After all, he handles the exchange of the forgeries in Passau. Hmm, I see. Is there anything else at all you can tell me about him? No, he was supposed to supply me with materials too, but he backed out. Eric said he probably got cold feet. Crimps? You're telling me this Eric is recruiting armed men in Sassau? Well, it seems so. I was giving the recruiters some of the coins to do it. The fake ones, of course. Where can I find the recruiting gang? That's tricky. It was my friends who led me to them. We met with them in the woods next to Sassau. It's about who you know, as always. You said you gave them money. Where was that? They'd ride to the mine gallery to see me. I don't suppose you'd find them there now. Hmm. If you say so. That'll do me for the moment. Will you put in a word for me with Sir Radzig? I'll swear allegiance to him if he'll have me. I'm sick of being a renegade. I'll have to think about it. I don't want to annoy Sir Radzig. Alright, let's close this door up, leave him locked up like he should be, and go report back to Sir Radzig. So what have you learned? All sorts of things. There's some foreigner called Eric behind the counterfeiting ring. And someone highly placed at the monastery. The monastery? Really? That's what Yezhek claimed. So it's worse than I thought. If this is true, we'll have to proceed with the utmost caution. Why? Can't we just go to the monastery to investigate? No. If the church is truly involved, I have no authority. But if someone at the monastery is perpetrating crimes against the crown... True enough. Why don't I go and arrest King Sigismund of Luxembourg while I'm about it? He's committed a crime or two as well. I'll have to think about it. It won't be an easy nut to crack. I'll have to consult with Hanush. And what of this Eric? Who is he? I don't know. 
But he's recruiting armed men in Sasau and forming an army. Damn! So it looks like Pribislavitz wasn't the end of it. It most certainly wasn't, sir. And what's more, Sir Jezek is convinced this Eric is only a go-between, and there's someone bigger behind him. You should return to Sasso and take a closer look at those recruiters. If they're going to attack, we must find out sooner than last time. It might not be as straightforward as that. Sir Jezek didn't know them and has no idea how to find them. I... I'm not sure where to start, sir. Then ask around the alehouses and inns, or at the Rad House. Someone must have heard something. These things can't be entirely kept in the dark. Whatever you do, be careful, Henry. And best not mention my name. It would attract unwelcome attention. What we want is for the crimps to take you for just another village lad they can lure into their gang. All right, sir. I'll try to blend in as best I can. I know I'm asking a lot of you. But I know of no one else who could help as much as you can now. Sir, there's one more thing. Sir Jezek went with me without resistance because I promised him he could come to an agreement with you. My boy, my boy. You make promises in my name. That could turn out very badly for both of us. But if it can prevent bloodshed, why the hell not? We may well come to some arrangement after all, but I can't say yet what will become of him. You'd better run along. As you command, sir. All right, so I think that pretty much ties up all that glisters pretty neatly with a bow, so we're gonna end it there. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching another Dare to Game video. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you like my content and would like to support this channel, consider becoming a member today for as little as $1.99 a month. It makes a huge difference. But in any case, thanks for watching and have a nice day. I'll see you next time.